Hey guys. This hey. is our family. Look at our little friend. This is our family. This is our friend. Oh, she cute. Oh, she's kiss? just so lovely. How about she's a kiss for me? She's just so lovely. Oh, thank you. Isn't she the cutest? This is our husky. Our family has some news for you. Oh, oh, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Carrie Kemp, and this is my husband Scott for those of you who are coming back to my channel I love you thanks for coming back this is Scott if you don't already know him uh, Scott <laughs> um, anyway this video is a big video this is something that I could not put into an Instagram caption because I just I don't feel like it would do it justice so um, to give a little background before we officially share what's going on in our lives back in uh, December we sold our property in Saskatchewan we had built a house out there and um, I had shared that on Instagram a while back and uh, so of course like for the last two years since we've been here we've been kind of like we want to get on a new project whether that's like a reno or a uh, a full build again like we just we like to work together on different projects like that we love real estate um so of course when our house sold we were like okay let's look into the toronto market and uh let's see what's going on here what did the toronto market tell us bring as much suitcases full of cash if you have them and we don't have that <laughs> no <laughs> unfortunately we don't unfortunately the Toronto and even really the GTA market is just, it's not affordable for the average family. Even as uh, someone who we've like established ourselves before we even came out here and we still can't really afford it and live comfortably and live the same life that we're living, you know? Um, we love to travel and all that kind of stuff. Um, and we also don't want to commute every day. We don't want to live way out in the boonies where we're going to be commuting like an hour with good traffic, five hours with <laughs> rush hour traffic. Um, because like then we, we lose out on those hours with us. And I feel like an eight hour workday is already enough to lose with us. Too many compromises. Yeah. Too many compromises. Unfortunately, and it's a beautiful city. It is a beautiful city. And, and great weather, too. You're like alluding to something. No, I'm just, I'm, this is a great place. I can't <laughs> say anything bad about Toronto. It's, uh, it's been a great place to, to visit and live. It was a good place when we visited, and it was a great place now that we're living here. Yes. However, we're not going to be living here for very much longer. What are you trying you to tell say? Him. You what tell him. What are you him. trying to say, Gary? You tell him. What are you trying you to say? You tell him. I think Carrie has something to say. We are moving, drum roll please, to Calgary, Alberta. Woo! Alberta. So for those of you who do not know Canadian geography, um, it goes BC on the west coast, then Alberta, which is where Calgary is, then Saskatchewan, then Manitoba, then Ontario where Toronto is. So we're moving over three provinces. Um, so it's a little bit bigger of a move than when we first came out here. But a lot of you are probably thinking, why Calgary? Like why in the world would you go to Calgary? Um, and the reason being is, as I think a lot of you guys know uh, with who follow politics and all that kind of stuff, oil and gas has not been a thing for a little while. And so um, Calgary and Saskatchewan have received a huge hit. Um, and so for that reason, like house prices have gone Reasonable. Like, significantly down. Like, so um, we figured we would get into Calgary, do a couple flips maybe, like reno a house, maybe we'll build a house, I'm not really sure yet. We're not really sure yet. Um, but it's at least affordable that even if the house market doesn't go up in the time that we build or we don't get the value that we want from it, 
we can still live in that rented house comfortably and the airport there is amazing we can still travel how we lo love to travel um, but most importantly the reason we're moving is to be closer to family um, Calgary is about six hours from Saskatoon which is where I'm from and about five hours from North Battleford which is where Scott's family's from and so um, being out here for the last two and a half years it's been challenging as much as like I'm I've created um, this brand I guess you could call it here and like Scott's created a company um, and built his clientele and everything you can't take away the fact that we're we're losing out all that time with family and like all those birthdays and Christmases and Easter's because it's so expensive to travel at those times and even if we did go back once a year like that's still how many other days of the year that we don't get to see them and we're missing out on like the ballet recitals and the soccer practices and the I don't know hockey and all that kind of stuff yep. that everybody's in and the swimming lessons um, and like recently I actually had a family member who was who was in the hospital for a long time and like he's still battling uh, with the healthcare system and and trying to get healthy and I'm like sitting here and I'm helpless. We just can't be there for them. No, we can't. I like be. I would love to just go and sit beside him and like let my mom go home. It's actually my stepdad. Um, I let my mom go home and like keep him company because it's not fun sitting in a hospital by yourself. And so, um, why am I getting emotional? Because when you miss family, that pulls your heartstrings. Yeah, so it's just like... It's true. Only being six hours away from there um, is going to make it a lot easier. Uh, although I won't be in Toronto and be able to continue doing some of the jobs that I've been doing, I can still do so much from Calgary. Like, I can still give you guys amazing content and be able to afford paying, like, photographers and studio spaces like all of that kind of stuff I'm, I wasn't able to do here because it's just too expensive um, so I have these big dreams and these big plans on content creation and all of that kind of stuff that I want to roll out which I'm making another super big announcement on Monday in regards to something that I'm gonna be doing in Calgary so I'm so excited of what I'm doing on Monday giving you guys all the fun stuff, all the exciting stuff, um, but I, I mean it's still cheap enough to fly back here when I need to. I have people that I can stay with so I wouldn't even need to worry about like hotel rooms or anything like that. Um, as for Scott, what are you going to be doing in Calgary? I'm an HVAC genius, so I'll be sticking in that industry, uh, doing uh, yeah, basically HVAC related things. Scott doing what Scott is HVAC? Things. Because nobody knows what that Heating, is. Heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Awesome. So. What is that like? What do you do? Like. Uh, it could range from residential, commercial, industrial, ductwork, heating, furnaces, air conditioning, ventilation, bathroom fans, HRVs, anything you could name or relate to home house heating or commercial heating and cooling. That's a business that I'm in. And he's so good at it. I'm not even saying that because I'm married to him, but so many people tell me how amazing he is and I'm just so proud of everything that you've done and I cannot wait for you to succeed in Calgary. But that uh, that's it for this video. I just wanted to do this big announcement because like I said, I don't think it could have all been caught in, uh, in an Instagram caption. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to thank you all for your love and support and welcoming me into this community. This was not an easy decision to move away from Toronto. Ah! Um, because I've created a family outside my family here. Um, but I know that I need to do what's right and what's right is being close to, to the family that raised me. <laughs> and I know that I'll be back. I'll walk, still walk in some fashion shows. I don't know like what kind of projects I'll be able to do, but um, yeah, I'm sure you guys will see me around here. Definitely. Calgary's not that far away. It, uh, 
Even if you don't see her in person, I'm sure she still you're gonna might see be me online. on the internet somewhere. Yeah, you're definitely, I'm not going anywhere when it comes to my Instagram or anything like that. I love you guys too much to quit that. So between that and TikTok and YouTube and all the fun stuff, I'll still be around. And so will Scott. He'll still be my companion. My I'll little filler. I'll see you out west. Ah! We're moving! Woo! Wee! Ah! Okay. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Enjoy your weekend. Mwah.